What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video. Today, we're going to talk about Matt Gay. Um, having some struggles here in the preseason, uh, not exactly what we want to see, right? We've gone through after Vinny retired, you know, went through a period where uh, it was tough in terms of field goals. You, we didn't have anybody that we relied on, right? I think you know, over the years, Michael Badgley was uh, pretty good for us, but even still uh, going, you know, 45 plus has been an issue for us from the kicker position for a long time at this point. So getting Matt Gay in, uh, giving him a contract, came from the Rams, was really good with them. When he signed with us, he had the biggest kicker contract of all time. Uh, that, of course, has been passed up. Justin Tucker, uh, Evan McPherson, some other kickers are in there that have passed up Matt Gay. I thought Matt Gay did fine last year. He could have obviously done better, right? He wasn't 100%. He was actually 80.5% last year, 33 of 41. And when you really look at it and start to break it down, like in his career, he typically struggles more from 40 to 49. Last year with us, he actually had more struggles from 50 plus. Um, he was 9 for 9 from 20 to 29, 9 for 10 from 30 to 39, 7 for 9 from 40 to 49, so fairly good right there. And then he was 8 for 13 from 50 plus, so still over half. But when you look at what's happening this preseason, it makes you wonder, are we going to have these same struggles in the regular season? And, you know, when you look at it, um, he's missed a couple of 50 yarders here in the preseason. But where I think Colts fans just need to, just like the thumbnail says, just like Aaron Rodgers said back in the day, just R-E-L-A-X. Y'all need to relax on Matt Gay. We're going to be just fine, okay? The holder um, in this last game was actually the backup kicker, right? The 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 extra camp leg is basically all he is. We know Matt Gay is going to be on the team. Schrader. I don't even know this guy's first name. It really doesn't matter. Um, he's not going to be here. So this guy had never been a holder before. He steps in, and uh, when you look at it, like all the uh, all the points after Matt Gay was able to hit, right? Those were going through, and those were going right down the middle. It was just the field goals from fifty plus. So you know, is there? It sounds like Matt Gay kind of putting the blame on on the holder, um, and maybe maybe that is. I haven't uh, been able to go through and see the all twenty two yet. Uh, waiting for that to get uploaded for for the entire game. I have part of the game, um, but don't have the entire game available to be able to watch and go through and really look at that hold and be able to see what happened. Um, but I do know that Schrader was holding for Matt Gay, and in that instance, it's like, okay, well, maybe there was just a hold problem, right? Um, mechanically, maybe he's different um, from right holding the ball. Maybe it was different in the middle of the field than on the right half, or maybe it was just um, easier for him and, and less nerve-wracking uh, for him to do the points after instead of – the 50 plus yard field goal. So who knows? Again, going to have to go back and look. Um, as I look through things, I really think there's nothing to worry about. He's not going to be perfect. Uh, we knew coming into last year um, that when you start getting deeper, just like a lot of kickers, when you start getting deeper, um, it gets harder. Matt Gay's problem really is he, he, he overcorrects, right? On that, on that right hash, he was pushing it too far left. He just, you got to not angle it as much, right? It's those small things from his point of view that he'll be able to fix. He was able to be good for us last year, and I think he'll be good for us this year. So at the end of the day, um, it's just a quick video. I know Colts fans have been going crazy on Matt Gay. Um, and Hey, this guy, we're paying him all this money. He can't kick it through the uprights. Um, at the end of the day, He's going to be just fine. Right, the longest field goal he hit for us last year was 57, and that came in the uh, game against Carolina. He hit um, plenty of 50 yarders for us. Um, you know, the Baltimore game, you look at the Baltimore game, uh, he was four for four from 50 yards out in bad weather. So coming up into this last preseason game, of course, we're going to want to see him make those. Rigo, we're going to need him to suit up so that he can be the holder. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't just – have Rigo suit up to be the holder anyways. You know, you don't have to have him punt, but suit him up so that you can get a real look at Matt Gay. Okay, that that's really what you need, just so um, you can have the whole operation between long snapper, holder, kicker, just have all three of those together all the time. I don't know why we didn't suit up Rigo. doesn't really make any sense not to, um, but 
this upcoming week, I expect that to be the case. And going forward into the regular season, I expect us to be just fine. When the games start to matter, um, some guys just lock in different, you know, when the games start to matter like that. So um, I think Matt Gay will be fine. I think Colts fans need to relax. Uh, of course, let me know what your thoughts are on this, right? Of course, watching the game and what your initial thoughts are. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the fact that it wasn't Rigo holding for him? I feel like that makes a difference. You let me know what you think down in the comment section. Of course, make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you continue to get notified when we push more content out. Of course, appreciate you stopping by. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.